Hey, what are you doing in my house? Oh, this one doesn't know yet. Hold on, let me get the script. <clears throat> Hello, sir or ma'am. Please, remain calm. I am a friendly detective from the Paranormal Division of the FBI. You have recently expired, and I'm here to investigate why your ghost is still here. Expired? What am I, a milk carton? You're nuts, buddy. I understand this news may be alarming. If it helps you, don't think of it as being dead. Think of it as being living challenged. You're crazy! Get out of my house! That script never works anyway. Alright, here's the deal. You're dead. I've got your information right here. You're Joey Marino. How do you know my name? Because you died, and someone threw your case file on my desk. Now tell me, do you remember anything about last night? I came home and I think I fell asleep in the chair on my balcony. I don't remember anything else. Hmm, sounds about right. Sometimes if a ghost has a quick death, they can't remember it. I'm not a ghost. That's just ridiculous. Oh, yeah? Why don't you pick up that beer can over there, if you're so sure? Fine. Hey! Do you believe me now? I'm just going to hope this is some kind of crazy dream. Tell yourself whatever you want. But I need to do my job. What do you say? Can I have a look around? I guess so. Although I doubt you'll find whatever you're looking for. Thanks. I'll get started. I see your parents were trying to shake you down for some money. Yes. They never supported me in my dream, but now they want to cash in. It pisses me off. Sorry, I'm a little messy. It must be jammed. You know, it wouldn't kill you to clean once in a while. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. Nope, nope, it's too late. You already said it. What are you going to do with that? Well, I'd hit you with it, but it would go right through you. Very funny. There we go. We've only just met and you're already defacing my property. Hey, Marino, you like that little makeover I gave your car? Well, there's more where that came from. You fired me over a steak when I have a family to feed at home. I'm going to kill you for what you did, Marino. No one's going to miss your sorry rich ass. That's an ex-employee of mine. He's a little... dramatic. Are you sure this isn't the guy? Because he seems like he's your guy. Maybe. I don't know. Aw, oh, adorable. The second best day of my life, right after the opening of my restaurant. Wow, I'm putting money down right now. Your wife did it. You're wrong.
Five stars. I'm impressed. Thanks, uh, but that's an old review. We've been slipping recently. Honestly, all he ever does is complain about the restaurant. The other day, he came home screaming about an employee cutting the tomatoes too thin. Barbara, you're the co-owner. Do you live like this? That's just how Joe is. We handle different things. I take care of the business side of things, and he cries over tomatoes. Ugh, I just wish he'd stop obsessing over every detail. Hey, when you get home, can you ask him to take another look at this contract? I know he doesn't want to expand, but this is a great opportunity for us. Yeah, I'll ask him. I wish he'd care half as much about me as he does about the restaurant. Hey, you married him. Now that's a contract I'd never sign. Whoa, what was that? That, my floating friend, is why I got this job. I can view memories that are attached to objects. It's very useful for this kind of work. Oh, and I can also drag other people in with me, so it holds up as evidence in court. Well, aren't you special? Says the guy who can't pick up a beer can.